Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. My friends, I am Dr. Abu Abdullah, certified from International Islamic University in Quran, Hadith, and Islamic class. Welcome to my channel, Real Islam TV. This is third lecture in series of contribution of Muslims. Today we are talking about contribution of Muslims in medical sciences. It has been established by modern historical research that the earliest human civilization dates back to about 7,000 years. Egypt and Babylon were the first countries to feel the impact of civilization, which was disseminated through various other countries, including China, India, Persia, etc., ultimately reaching Greek, where it found the most congenial atmosphere for the adequate development. Romans inherited their knowledge from such eminent Greek intellectuals as Socrates, Plato, Aristotle. The downfall of the Roman Empire caused intellectual stagnation and the storm of barbarism barbarism which swept over the world presented the greatest threat to culture progress which would have been in the danger of total extinction had it not been saved by the timely intervention of Muslims <laughs> Their unexampled intellectual activity marks a distinct epoch in the history of the world. The golden era of Muslims' achievement in the field of scientific and philosophical research began in 900 AD and lasted for many centuries, the physician and the scientist of the Islamic world, having stood on the firm foundation of Greek science, began to rely upon their own resources into developing from within. Now we will be discussing who are those Muslim scientists and physicians who contributed in medical sciences. First number, number one comes Jabr. Okay, one thing I would like to mention here that the names of Arabic and Muslim scientists were changed in the West, which looks like not Muslims but Western names. I don't know why they did it. So, Jabr, known as the father of Muslim Alkenia, is a mystic and was known as Seber. In the West, Seber, C E B E R, in Latin literature. He was closely attached to the family of Bar, Barmicides, the main ministerial dynasty of the Abbasid Caliph. He was in Abbasid Caliph. He had founded a laboratory at Kufa, whose ruins were discovered 200 years later. <laughs> Sir Thomas Ornell plays an adequate tribute to this great Muslim scientist when he says at the very dawn stands the figure of a Muslim whose shadow lies at what the signs of the Middle Ages in the Orient as an Occident. Occident. So second scientist, Muslim scientist is Al-Razi. In Latin, they named it Razis. 
He was from 865 to 925 AD, was born at Ray, Persia, in 865 AD. This is, or Al Razi says, the Mexic Misrafuf was, according to him, according to Max, Al Razi was undoubtedly the greatest physician of Islamic world and one of the greatest physician physician of all times. In his young age, he practiced as an alchemist and later he developed himself exclusively to the development of medical science, both in theory and practice. He wrote Kitab al-Mansuri, <clears throat> a ten-volume <clears throat> treatise dealing with the Greek medicine which was published in several editions. According to a European writer, his erudition was all embracing and his scientific output remarkable, amounting to more than 200 books and half of which are medical. His outstanding work, al Judeiri wal Hasba. A book dealing with the smallpox and measles is one of the most authentic book on the subject even to the present day. It was translated into Latin and other European languages and was published more than 40 times between 1498 and 1866 AD. It contains detailed information regarding the treatment of postures. The greatest achievement of Al Razi in the realm of medical science is his celebrated work Al Hawaii or Al Havi, the most comprehensive encyclopedia of medicine ever written by a medical man, which runs into twenty volumes. This book was translated into this book was translated into Latin by the Sicilian Jews physician Faraj ibn Selim on the order of Charles I king of Sicily and named Continence. Its influence on European medicine was thus very considerable, says Max. Al-Razi has also contributed to gynecology, obstetrics, ophthalmology and had written valuable treatises on the treatment of some common diseases in the East, including <clears throat> stones in the bladders and kidneys. He was also an eminent surgeon. <clears throat> And he is the inventor of Satan in surgery, in instrument's name. He settled in Baghdad where he founded a hospital, established hospital named Bimaristan. He selected its site by hanging pieces of raw meat in various directions and choosing the spot where they showed least signs of putrefaction. That's so genius. In this list, number three is Ibn Sina. His full name is Ali Ibn Al Abbas Al Majusi. Oh, I'm sorry. He is another guy. This is his name is Ali Ibn Abbas, and he was died in <coughs> 994 AD and was the author of celebrity work. Kitab al-Malki, no, an excellent and compact encyclopedia dealing with the both voluminous, both theory and practice of the medical science, I repeat, and compact encyclopedia dealing with both the theory and practice of medical science. It is less voluminous than Al-Razi's Hawaii and it remained a standard book 
until it was superseded by the canon, the masterpiece of the great Ibn Sina. Perhaps Missouri was the first physician to write about the capillary system and to describe accurately the way in which a child is born. Now number fourth in this list is Abu al-Hasan ibn Sina. His brain was from 980 to 1037 AD. In the West it is, he is called as Avicenna. He was one of the greatest intellectuals of the Islamic world who is ranked second only to Aristotle, the greatest mind the world has ever the world has ever produced. His intellectual achievement as a physician is less remarkable than his achievement as a philosopher and a physician. He has visited the court of Noah the second, the seventh ruler of Bukhara who allowed him to use his well-equipped library. His gigantic work al kanun fil tib known as canon in latin is the culmination and masterpiece of muslim system systemization it's the medical encyclopedia <clears throat> dealing with 360 drugs as well as with general medicine <clears throat> simple drugs and diseases affecting <clears throat> all parts of the body. It's particularly concerned with pathology and pharmacopoeia and was translated into Latin in 12th century by Gerard of Crimina. The, the popularity of this excellent work may be gagged by the fact that during the last 30 years of 15th century, it was printed 16 times and in the 16th century, 20 times in various European language. And number five in this list is Abu al Jarrah al Zaharvi. <clears throat> in Latin, he is called Abu al Cassis. Abu al Cassis who died in 1013 was a great surgeon who wrote his famous book al tasrif containing 30 sections the last of which deals with the surgery muslim physician at that time didn't pay any attention to the surgery and it was totally neglected field Al Tasrif is fully illustrated with the sketches of surgical instrument and is its profound contribution to the development of surgery, both in the East and the West. <coughs> it was translated into several languages. European languages and the famous French surgeon Guy de Claude benefited from one of its Latin translation. <clears throat> Stanley Lane pulls in his celebrated work, The Muslims in Spain, plays eloquent tribute to the part played by Spanish Muslims in the awakening of the West. On this list, next, Muslim. Physician number six Ali ibn Isa of Baghdad, known in the West as Jess Aquilist, has written the excellent treatise of ophthalmology, which is a branch of medicine dealing with the eye diseases. It was translated with Latin and was considered the authoritative work on eye disease in, in Europe till the middle of 18th century. Next in the list, number seven is Abu al Hassan, known as Al Hazan in the West. He was 
फ्रॉम 965 टू 1020 एडी ही इज रिकॉग्नाइज द ग्रेटेस्ट अथॉरिटी ऑन ऑप्टिक्स द वर्ल्ड हैज एवर प्रोड्यूस्ड He was born in Basra and later joined the services of Fatimi Caliph of Egypt where he was assigned to discover the method of regulating the inversion of the river Nile he couldn't achieve this objective hence he has to remain underground till the death of the caliph He has made valuable contribution to the development of physics and medicine but his outstanding achievement is in the realm of optics he has corrected the theories of usley and ptolemy on the subject his optic influenced such great writers on optics as roger bacon leonard da vinci John Kepler and all medieval western writers who base their works on the research of Al Hasan the two generation illuminating of the islamic world ibn sina and al biruni shared and fully endorsed al hasan's optical fact The next in the list number 8 is Ibn Rashid in the west is known as Averroes who died in 1190 in Morocco is the greatest Aristotelian philosopher he is the author of 16 medical works of which one Kulliyat fil Tibb dealing with the general rules of medicine was translated into Latin He was it was printed several times in Europe Ibn Rushd is one of the most outstanding literary figures that Islamic Spain has produced and he was instrumental in clearing away the darkness of illiteracy that had developed the Europe Next in the list is number 9 Ibn Katina He was from Spain physician he died in 1369 ad <clears throat> he is the author of excellent book on plague a severe plague which erupted almira in spain in 1348 and 49 ad caused the celebrated physician to write a treatise the on this subject the book was edited and translated in europe in 15th century ad and revealed the contagious character of the plague and its remain which were not known to the greek physicians so my friends the story of medicine in europe begin at sicily which is in italy at the time where the constantine the freakan a disciple of a muslim physician organized the first medical school the medical school of montepellier soon followed suit which was founded on the patron of cordova cordova in spain under the guidance of jewish doctors other schools on the same lines were opened at pisa again in italy and later at padua where canon of ibn sina and the surgery of abul qasim remain until the 17th century the textbooks on medical school medical science surrounding europe throughout the europe muslim is virtually that but for the recent synthetic and organo therapy is in use at the present day our common drugs belongs to the muslim medicines so this was the contribution of muslims physician scientist to the world i'm trying to collect their work but i am not so much successful yet except i have a sixth volume a complete 
Encyclopedia written by Ibn Sina. So see you in the next lecture. Thank you very much for watching.